The 60th British Open Gold Cup is underway for 2016. As 13 teams have vied for the championship, after four rounds of group stage play, only eight teams remain to move on to the quarterfinals. No team moves on undefeated, marking this year as one of the strongest and most even field of teams in history of the tournament. The first match of the quarterfinals is due to take place on Saturday, July the 9th at 12 p.m. between HB Polo and Zakara. HB Polo, formed by French Pelonci brothers, has put together their strongest team format to date, notably Sebastian, who has been a consistently strong defensive backdoor. This year, HB has a new leadership with the shake and bake duo of Pelon Sterling and Kubi Toccolino. In a huge matchup against La Bamba di Araco, Kubi Toccolino scored in overtime with an assist by Pelon. HB move on to face Akara with a record of 3 to 1. Two time winners of the British Open Zakara are joined this year by 2015 finalist Pablo McDonough with Lucas Monteverdi. Having lost in their matchup against HB in group stage, Zakara will look to seek revenge. Zakara defeated Apes Hill in a double overtime and survived a penalty shootout to pass through the quarterfinals with a record 2 2. The second quarter final features the matchup between Valiente and Clark and Green on Saturday at 3 pm. Playing in their first ever British Open, Valiente is led by the underrated and overpowered duo of Juan Martin Nero and the number one in the world, Adolfo Cambiasso. In a surprising defeat to La Indiana, Valiente lost by a six goal margin. During the match, the team owner, Bob Jornavayas, suffered a broken leg, leading to a reformation of the team. Valiente won their remaining two matches with a new lineup featuring Rob Jornay Baez and Kean Hall, moving on to face Clark and Green with a 3 to 1 record. Clark and Green, sponsored by Nick Clark, features the seven goal trio of Juan Zavaleta, Luke Tomlinson, and New Zealander John Paul Clarkin. They enter the quarterfinals with a 3 1 record which includes an impressive last second victory against HB. Tomlinson, he's gone out to the left a little bit. Here comes the cut shot by Luke Tomlinson. He flicks it into goal. Luke Tomlinson, Luke Tomlinson, brilliant from Tomlinson. Clark and Green will look to continue their tournament run and notch another win in their belt. In the third quarter final, the second seed, La Indiana, faces off against seventh seed, Talandrakis, on Sunday at 12 p.m. Queen's Cup finalists, La Indiana, channeled their momentum into the British Open Gold Cup with several big victories in the group stage of the tournament. In a back and forth battle against County Vikings, La Indiana came together and pulled out a win with two breakaway goals in the sixth track of the match. Surely they lose surrender, near side, no, yes, yes it's through the goal, what a finish by De Lucereta. Michael Bickford has stepped up into the British high goal as a player and sponsor and has pushed his team on a path towards victory. Talandrakis squeaks through to the quarterfinals with a narrow record of 2 for 2. Charles Cooney entered the team, replacing Edouard Carmignac. With the new lineup, Talandrakis destroyed RH Polo by a 7 goal margin and proceeded to defeat the powerhouse King Power in their final group stage. The fourth and final quarterfinal features the 2015 winners, King Power Foxes, against the British foursome, Britannia El Romanso, on Sunday at 3pm. Over the last two years, King Power Foxes have been the top contender in the British high goal. Struggling in the Queen's Cup, King Power have reformed their team lineup and brought back the aggressive young English player, Hugo Lewis. The Pieris brothers, Facundo and Gonzalo, are determined as ever to defend their title. Britannia El Romanso is an all-British lineup of players, based at Manor Farm in Midhurst near Calgary. The hometown heroes will look to spread out the field with their four-man style of polo, which has proven to be a winning tactic. Had a chance, but Hamby was quick thinking and he finds James Harper. James Harper now has Manuel Elizaldi, Capella and Oli Cudmore all in a little group as Harper comes inside. He sees Cudmore, it's great play by Britannia El Romanso. That is what this team are capable of and they score the goal. Moving to the quarterfinals with a 2 for 2 record, they will look to upset King Power Foxes and move on to the semi finals. Tune in to poloChannel.com for all the British Open coverage.